Nope. Oh, around. Hello? Let me get situated there. Good morning. Hey, everybody. Good morning. So, um, we are having a snow day in Tennessee, and even though I am in Georgia, I am still having a snow day. <laughs> And it didn't snow here, so um, I'm a little low-key today, uh, but I want to tell you what happened yesterday and what we have planned for February because it is going to be very, very exciting. Oh, shucks, I forgot to put my lipstick on. No wonder I look so sleepy. <laughs> yeah, we're working on a snow day. <laughs> we had two inches, Corey. <laughs> what do you think that's like? What What kind of snow days do you have in Maine? <laughs> Okay, so we're having a snow day in Tennessee, and I'm in Georgia, but I'm still taking a snow day. Um, but I'm going to be working on some of my online stuff anyway, so snow day or not, it doesn't matter. Now, yesterday, um, if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, you saw that I had a really, really big meeting. Huge meeting. I was going to meet a, um, a lady in Atlanta who buys houses, she buys businesses, she buys big real estate, and she goes out, she gives these speeches, and she's got this huge following, she's got her own TV show, like, I was prepared to be, you know, pretty starstruck, because this woman is where I want to be eventually, right? So, I wanted to be early. Well, I arrived about 45 minutes early, <laughs> And I walked in and I wasn't, you know, when you walk into somebody's office that you're not used to or that you haven't been before, you don't know if you're going to meet uh, the receptionist or if you're going to meet, you know, the president of the company or somebody's, you know, guy that uh, just runs the coffee. You don't know who you're going to meet. So in my opinion, you know, everybody's good. Everybody's the same. And a lot of times if you're nicer to the secretary, you will get further with the CEO because she's in his ear, right? So this lady came out to meet me and it was the woman I was there to meet. It wasn't any kind of fluff or any kind of feeler. It was just her. And she was so nice and she was so welcoming. And she, she was like, um, are you early? And I was like, I said, yes, I, I am way early. I am so early, but I didn't want to get stuck in traffic. I didn't want to get, you know, that anxious feeling that you get when, you know, you got a deadline. You got to be here. This is important. So I am here 45 minutes early. I will make myself comfortable. Don't even worry about a thing. I will be back here at three when I'm supposed to be. I just want to make sure I was in the right spot. So good or bad, I was way too early. <laughs> um, okay, so I waited. I hung out. I got all my jitters out because I already met her. So that part was over. And so I come back at like, you know, five till three. They're finishing up the other meeting. She had told me in an email that two of her partners were going to be there. And I thought, cool, just a couple guys she works with, um, maybe a couple women. I don't really know. She didn't say who it was going to be. So I didn't know who to expect. Well, she comes out and she says, you know, you can come on in. And so I walked in and there was a man sitting in the room, and he got up. He's this great big tall man, and he got up and came over and shook my hand. And I said, hey, I'm Whitney. And he said, yes, I know, I'm so-and-so, and I actually follow you on Instagram. My jaw had to hit the floor because this is one of those guys that, first of all, I, I always thought I would meet this woman, but I thought it would be like at a networking event with 100 people in the room and I would just casually, you know, say, hey, I'm Whitney, I'm really awesome, you should work with me, and that would be the end of it. Well, I thought very similar about this, this man, and I'm shaking his hand at this point. I just knew that I would, you know, run into him at a RIA meeting, or I would go to one of his meetings, or, you know, it would just be a very casual thing, and I was actually just standing there shaking his hand. And so <laughs> I had to, you know, regroup a little bit, because these are, you know, two... I mean, just titans of real estate that I've just, you know, I've looked up to for, I mean, I've, I've known about him as long as I've been hanging out kind of in and around Georgia. So a year or two, but you know, when you see how awesome people are, it doesn't take long before you're like, 
I want to meet them. I want to be them one day. I want to work with them. I want to help them. I want to do whatever I can to be surrounded by that group of people to get into those deals and that type of atmosphere. So I, the third guy in the room, I, I, I did not know him. I have not researched him to figure it out. I'm sure I was in the room with like three of the biggest Atlanta real estate investors ever. And I'm there to talk about auctions and to talk about speaking engagements. And I don't know. I, I talked a mile a minute. I don't know if I said anything good or not. Um, I was able to crack a little joke. And so they, uh, they chuckled at my joke. So that was good. That made me feel good. But uh, what I want to tell you is that you know, when God opens a door for you, sometimes He's going to fling the barn door wide open and all you got to do is walk through. So I could have said, it's too cold. I don't want to drive to Atlanta. I don't want to do this. You know, she's, you know, on a different level than I am or whatever. But I got up, I got dressed, I showed up and it was more amazing than I thought it was going to be. So when a door opens, walk through it. You don't always have to force it open. Just Walk through it when it is open. Okay, so anyway, that was my experience yesterday. It was fabulous, and I'm still really excited about it, as you can tell. Um, starting in February, some people have been asking me what we're going to do in February. I kind of slacked off on my webinars this month because uh, that I'm just not techie enough. But I've got some help, and we're continuing on with the webinars for the rest of this month. I have been talking with some of my coaching students, kind of figuring out where they are, what kind of basic information they need. So I'm going to do more periscopes. I've got a plan that I've got, I've got vocabulary words. And so a lot of it is basic stuff, but a lot of it is stuff that new investors, new people in real estate, they just don't even know about. So I'm going to do probably a periscope a day in February. Um, it'll go along with the same kind of post that I'm putting on Instagram and it'll all kind of match up. So I'll be, you know, more succinct in what I'm putting out real estate wise. And I'm going to do some group coaching. So I'm going to take five people. We're going to meet for an hour every week in February. And how did I learn lease options? I went to school in Florida I went for about a week every month, all of 20, I started in 2013, but all of 2014, I went to school for a week every month, and a lot of lease option stuff, you learn, you can learn the basics in class, but you're really going to learn by getting out and getting going, and I had a mentor that pushed me really, really hard, and in the first six months, I think I did about eight or nine deals. Good morning. So lease options are amazing. I love them. And as long as you have somebody to push you and get you out there, you will, you will learn it and you will be good at it. You need somebody to push you. You need somebody to teach you the basics so that you know what to say when you get out there and talk to sellers. But the biggest part of lease options because and owner financing because they're so they're not weird they're totally good they're used all the time everywhere across the country it's just that they they aren't the normal pitch that realtors use and it's not the normal speech that sellers are used to hearing and so it takes a little bit of you know working on what you're saying and when you're saying it to make sure that you come over on a good note, okay? So you want to make sure that you you don't come off as a slimy, you know, real estate investor. You come off as somebody who is doing a niche in real estate. And real estate is all about niches. I don't care if you're a listing agent, if you're a selling agent, I don't care what you do. You need to have that special core group of either people that you work with or paper that you work with and I work I work with I work with people and paper okay so I go out and I get lease options I get owner financing and then I find people that need some help rebuilding their credit they need time to wait out of bankruptcy they need something before they can buy this house 
and that's what lease options were made for. That's what they're great for. Uh, they're also really good for self-employed people because banks don't want to loan money to somebody that doesn't have a steady nine to five because what if you sell windows and suddenly the housing market crashes and you can't make your payments anymore. Then the bank is hung with you and your house and they just don't like self-employed people for mortgages. That's why, you know, I buy with owner financing because I buy a lot of houses and owner financing is a great way to buy houses as long as you know what you're doing. As long as you have somebody there to push you, to give you some of the, you know, inside information because whenever you do anything new, you can either do it for trial and error, you can either learn on the streets how to do it, or you can go to school, or you can learn from somebody who's been there, from somebody who is there. I still go out and talk to sellers. I still go out and talk to buyers. My phone has rang twice while I've been on this scope, and it's been buyers. So it's great. It's a wonderful way to get into real estate. I love it, and if you're not ready to buy and buy and hold or buy and save or whatever you want to do, we can talk about wholesaling too. So let me know if you're interested. You can send me an email at info at WhitneyNicely.com. I think I forgot to introduce myself, didn't I? I am so sorry, guys. My name is Whitney Nicely, and I am a real estate broker and real estate auctioneer. Hopefully in 2016, I'll be more of a real estate auctioneer and real estate investor. So um, I've got 12 houses right now. We've got three apartment complexes. And then I have just, I mean, a bunch <laughs> of vacant acre lots just spread out around East Tennessee. So um, if you work with a realtor as an investor, I think you should work with an investor in, well, I am in Georgia, so... Um, I know some other mentors in Atlanta, but I'll be glad to help you because I was in Atlanta yesterday. I am in Georgia. Um, but if you if you want to be an investor, I really feel like you should find a realtor who is also an investor so that you speak the same language as them. Listing agents are fabulous. Uh, people that help with you know military ho housing, they are fabulous, but... Unless you get a realtor that is an investor as well, you're just never going to be on the same track. They may represent investors, but until they have some personal knowledge of what investors are looking for and how they're making their money and the inside track at being an investor, I don't think they can help you. So that's why I am I'm an investor's realtor. I'm an investor's auctioneer because I am an investor. I've been an investor for years and years and years before I even had a real estate license. So I know what it's like to be out there actually talking to those people instead of being just on the agent side. And let me tell you, it's a lot more fun on the investor side than the agent side. <laughs> but if you want to be an agent, we can work you with that too. So, all right, that's all I have for today. Just go out there, get them. Um, I hope you get a five bedroom, six bath house today. And if you have any questions about it, send me an email, info at WhitneyNicely.com. Uh, be sure to check out the website, and I'm going to be rolling out the plans for February starting today and tomorrow. You're absolutely welcome, and I will see you on Instagram, I'm sure. Uh, I'm at Whitney Buys Houses. Thank you. Um, at Whitney Buys Houses on Instagram, and I do a weekly blab um, for all women all about real estate, I have a Facebook group, all women all about real estate. I'm sorry, guys, but, you know, it's fun to talk to the women about it sometimes, too. So if you are on Facebook and you're a woman in real estate, find our group, and I'll see y'all on Instagram. Check out my website, Whitney Buys House. Uh, wrong website. WhitneyNicely.com. Yes. And invite your real estate friends. It's for everybody all over the country. All women, all about real estate, all the time. <laughs> so y'all have a good day. I hope you buy something big. Let me know what you find. Bye, Corey. Thank you.